<laughs> well, my name is Rodrigo. I uh, am a penetration tester. I, uh, I do penetration testing. And uh, well, and I also run the technical team at SACFOS. Since I was uh, very, very young, uh, I was very interested in security and I was uh, well reading everything about hacking and how people could break into systems. And I was uh, actually very, very fascinated uh, about all of that. And uh, yeah, and then I, um, I moved into the professional world. Uh, and uh, I thought that it would be an amazing uh, career opportunity uh, to move into this space. So, uh, yeah, here I am. <laughs> well, so uh, usually we have engagements uh, and we help our clients uh, with their security. We focus on pen testing, which is basically the offensive uh, side of security. So my normal day is uh, trying really, really hard to come up with interesting ways of breaking into our clients' uh, networks. I guess the most important thing is that you love um, uh, understanding the technology and you love uh, seeing things from a different angle and to approach problems in a kind of thinking out of the box uh, kind of way. Uh, and basically just trying to make uh, the technology do something that it's not supposed to do. So uh, if you are very analytical and you like uh, examining a problem uh, in an analytical way, uh, then I guess uh, you could be a very, very good pen tester. I've been doing this uh, for a very, very long time, and uh, I still feel the thrill when I compromise a, a web application or a system, and, um, and I think I'm going to keep uh, feeling this thrill for many years to come, actually. I guess the loss is that um, well, at the end of the day, we need to write a report, uh, which is uh, probably not the most enjoyable uh, part of the work, obviously. <laughs> uh, when you are very, very motivated and you really love your industry and you really love uh, knowing about uh, um, security and knowing about uh, hacking, actually, uh, it comes natural to be up to date, to research, to to um, visit forums, uh, news list, uh, that kind of stuff. It just comes to you and you just uh, it's, it's not hard actually to keep reading and to keep researching on that.